So YouTube's COPPA update will be rolling out tomorrow, January 1st, 2020. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm sure it might be New Year's for some of you already. But YouTubers like myself are a bit more concerned about these fines than we are about celebrating New Year's right now. Just in case anyone forgot, basically what COPPA is going to do is if you say that your content is not made for kids and they determine that it is made for kids, you will be fined $42,000 per video. Because starting tomorrow, content that is made for kids will no longer have any personalized ads on them. Basically, the concern was kids were watching YouTube videos and seeing these personalized ads, and it was kind of like poisoning their minds about like stuff that they should buy and all that. And we YouTubers are kind of being punished for parents not being able to moderate the content that their kids watch. So the huge question that's on everyone's mind is, what's made for kids anyways, like this article says? We don't know if our content is made for kids or not according to YouTube and COPPA's rules. Even YouTube themselves have said that they don't know what to tell us, like they can't determine that our content is made for kids or not, we're just going to have to find out. But how are we going to find out with a $42,000 fee that's going to be dropped on our heads? Like in this article, they reference playing games like Fortnite and Minecraft. Those games have a predominantly young fan base, although teens and adults still play them too. So is just playing Fortnite or just playing Minecraft considered child content? Because what if YouTube makes every video that's like Fortnite or Minecraft related, they say that it's made for kids. If I was uploading a Fortnite video, I would say it's not made for kids because I might swear a little bit, right? But what if YouTube disagrees? Apparently that would mean there'd be a $42,000 fine that I'd be getting. This is why everyone is so scared of this update. That is a lot of money, especially per video. If we're at risk for paying that much money for something that we didn't even really do, people are going to stop uploading videos on YouTube out of fear. Some articles speculate that if they enforce this really heavily, it'll probably be both selective and heavy-handed. Like they do point out, the FTC is a small agency. It's not like they can find every single person who mislabels their video $42,000. But still, the risk is there, and that's what scares us so much. Let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comments. COPPA is scaring a lot of YouTube creators, including myself, from making the content that we truly want to make because we just want to be able to freely say and do whatever we want without having to be threatened with a fine. But yeah, Happy New Year, guys. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. See ya.